What's going on everyone, Eat Pac-Mans is back with another Fortnite video and today we will be looking at Season 9 Week 3 Challenges as we see here. But before I get into that, if you aren't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell button for, so you don't miss out on any future posts like this one. And then also, if you guys support me, make sure to hit that support creator and tap in my code EPACMANS, all caps. You guys already know I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. So now let's look into week three for season nine. So we got another stage challenge. We got to land a trick with a drift board. So that's going to be interesting finding this drift board um, and landing a trick. We'll see how easy that that is. Then we got to search some chests at Lonely Lodge or Polar Peak. Deal damage to an opponent within 10 seconds after using a slipstream. Stage another stage challenge stage one of three visit happy hamlet and shifty shafts in a single match Then we got to throw a flying disc toy and catch it before it lands. Okay, that might be a little tough who knows I think explosive weapon elimination so we need three team rumble would be the go-to for that one and deal damage with different weapons in a single match That's super easy team rumble will take care of that in no time All right, guys. So we got one chest here. Number two. All right, guys. So I'm landing here pretty lonely. Ironically, in Lonely Lodge. Um. So hopefully, we get some chests here. We got chest number three. Here's number four. And we got number six. Let's see if we can find the last one before I leave. And we got number seven right in here, guys. So that pretty easy challenge, honestly, as long as nobody lands by you. So make sure you keep a lookout and see if uh, where your teammates are going, especially. Let's see if I can get the deal damage with different weapons here. We gotta do it in five different matches. I just want to get this little elim. Oh, I did deal the damage, as you guys saw. Okay, so we got two different weapons in this single match. So now I need to find another weapon to deal damage with. Apparently, I didn't deal damage with the grenade launcher, so. Alright, so there's my third weapon. It should be. Let's see if it pops up here. There it is. Alright, this should be my fourth weapon here. There it is. That's fourth. Oh, there's damage right there. Explosive weapon elimination. And I got the fifth different weapon in a single match. Let's get it. This bow is going to be too easy, guys. So I'd recommend using the bow for the eliminations for explosive weapons. I honestly did not even think of it originally, but that's a lot easier, in my opinion, than an RPG. There's another one. Nice. I love this boom bow, guys. I'd recommend definitely using it. And there's the third. Bingo. We got it. So we got these three explosive eliminations. And then we also dealt damage with five different weapons in a single match. So honestly, guys, you can knock them both out just like I did. Uh, it's pretty. It's not as hard as you guys may think. Especially in Team Rumble, since you guys keep getting weapons and everything, it's that's why I did always recommend it on the weekly. Um, Team Rumble is honestly the best way to do all of your challenges. Alright guys, so for a quick easy challenge, we have to land at Happy Hamlet and then move on over to Shifty Shaft. So what I'm hoping for is to get one of those drift boards at Happy Hamlet. We'll do the trick shot, or the trick, my bad. We'll do the trick with the drift board and make our way to shifty shafts alright guys so you guys see over here we got this thing 
I guess this is the drift board. Let's see if we can get this challenge done and out of the way. So just do a flip or something and you guys will land that trick shot. It's so easy. So remember guys, go to Happy Hamlet first, get yourself the drift board, and then hover your way over to Shifty Shafts. Quick and easy, and that way you get two challenges done in one. So here we are at Shifty Shafts, and we got credit for it. Alright, let's see if I can get this guy. We got some damage, 13 out of 200. There you go. That was a nice headshot. But I don't know if it was 10 seconds after. We'll see if it gives me credit. Nah, I just got 13, sadly. Jeez, okay, well we got 85 out of 200. This challenge isn't that bad. Hopefully you guys can find some people near these uh, slip streams. Alright, there we go guys. Finally found somebody. Let's see if I can snipe him. Ooh, that was not my guy. Alright, I just have to do it the old fashioned way. Just because I needed some damage. So with that, we are at 191, so I need 9 more damage after the slipstream. There we go. Hopefully that gives me credit. I don't know if that was 10 seconds, but... Okay, so I guess it's not going to give me credit, which sucks. That was probably like 11 seconds. Dude, I need nine damage, come on. There it is. That was a headshot too. That should give me credit. And finally got it. Thank God. Alright guys, now we gotta visit Sunny Steps and Dusty Divot in a single match. I think I'm gonna do that right here. So we got Sunny Steps. And here we have Dusty Divot, so we got that done. Okay, now we gotta visit Haunted Hills and Salty Springs, which is kind of farther apart, but we can do it, guys. So here we are at Salty Springs, and since Haunted Hills is within the circle, I think I'm just gonna jump off something so I could respawn closer to the circle and automatically get credit all 
All right, so sh we should be respawning right by Haunted Hills. And that should be enough to give me credit. Let's see. And it is awesome. So we got it. Haunted Hills and Salty Springs in a single match. Alright guys, so I finally found a quad crasher and we need three seconds of air time. So I have a perfect idea of what to do. Let's just see if we can jump off this mount or hill right here and get this three seconds of credit. Let's see. One, two. Oh, that's two seconds. No, okay. So that was two seconds. Let's see if we can get the third. Oh, two seconds. Oh, we got 2.7 seconds, but it actually gave us credit for the three seconds. So thank you, Fortnite, for rounding up. And if you really need to see the three seconds, just watch it right here, guys. This is more than three seconds. This is, we're heading on six seconds. And that would have been enough credit for you guys. So, if anything, just jump off the map and you will get credit for this challenge. Alright guys, the last thing we have to do is destroy opponent structures with the vehicle. We will do that. And unfortunately, I won't be able to throw a flying disc toy and catch it before it lands. Just because... Well, I'm only tier 26. I haven't been able to play as much because of work this summer. So... You get the flying disc at tier 35, so that's going to be a little while until I get there. But I will do that, no worries. And I'll still show you guys the secret battle star for this week. Even though, I, even though the battle star won't pop up on the screen, I'll show you guys the location and where to get it. Nice, we just destroyed opponent structures like nothing. Alright guys, so since I'm not a high enough tier, I won't be able to throw the flying disc and catch it. Only because... That is unlocked at a higher tier, and since I'm not there yet, I obviously don't have it. But I will show you guys where the secret battle star um, is for the week, slash the 4-bit bite, whatever you want to call it. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure, just because obviously I won't be able to see it, but it's going to be in Junk Junction, so it's going to be all the way over here where I've marked, and I'll show you guys here in a sec where it will be exactly. Alright guys, so this is the area where you will find the secret battle star slash fort bite. I'm not sure if it's going to be all the way on top over here. I'm kind of assuming it might be, but it's going to be in this area. So just kind of look around. You should be able to find it, no problem. And again, and once again, I'm sorry that I was not able to complete the challenge. I'm just not high enough tier. Work has not allowed me to play as often as I would like. But regardless, we got all the rest of the challenges done, the ones that we could get done. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe if you are new and turn on that bell button so you don't miss out on any future posts like this one. Also use my support of creator code if you want to support me in the item shop. I would greatly appreciate it. And once again, this is season 9 week 3 challenges. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.